Hello and a warm welcome to this course on computational electromagnetics. My name is Uday Khan Khoje and I am a faculty member at the Indian Institute of Technology uh, Madras in the Department of Electrical Engineering. So this course is about Maxwell's equations and how to solve them. Maxwell's equations as you all might know were formalized way back in the year 1861 and these equations have very beautifully unified the theories of electricity and magnetism. They have explained why light travels at the speed that it does and more importantly they withstood the test of Einstein's theory of relativity. All modern communication systems that you can see around you, whether it is your mobile phone, satellite communication or any other form of uh, even fiber optic communication, they all rely on some kind of wave behavior right? uh, and that is where Maxwell's, Maxwell's equations come in. Now one of the uh, sort of problems with Maxwell's equations is you cannot solve them exactly and this is where uh, this course on computational electromagnetics is very well motivated because for you know modern engineering problems like uh, the communication problems which I mentioned or for military applications like finding out the radar cross section of an aircraft, you need to solve Maxwell's equations numerically and these are the skills that we will pick up in this course. So this course is supposed to be uh, a first course in computational electromagnetics. This means that you have had a basic exposure to engineering electromagnetics. Uh, you know a little bit about linear algebra and as you will find out this language of electricity and magnetism is written with the alphabets of vector calculus. So we will be using vector calculus as well. So these basically form the prerequisites for the course. Now when we talk about different problems, there are different methods that are used to solve them. For example, uh, if you wanted to find out the radar cross section of an aircraft or a ship, usually we find that radars are narrow band sources. So you solve these problems in the frequency domain. So this gives rise to methods which are known as integral equation methods or finite element methods. So we will study these two methods to start with. But not all phenomena can be studied efficiently in the frequency domain and we need to look at time domain behavior. For example, you want to study how light is uh, stored in a resonator, how long does it stay there and when does it leak out. So these are all time domain behavior. So for that we will study the finite difference time domain methods. Now all these methods have their pros and cons and a part of what we will study in this course is how to combine uh, the, you know, the benefits of uh, various methods into so called hybrid methods. We will also learn to choose which method is to be used on what occasion. Okay. Now some of the applications that we will study in this course would be for example finding the radar cross section of a aircraft. Uh, we will also study how to hybridize couple of methods into more efficient methods. We will also look at how to find out the supported modes in you know waveguide structures. Um, towards the end of the course we will look at how do you find out the radiation pattern of an antenna. Now what happens when an antenna is placed next to another antenna? Is the radiation pattern disturbed? Right. We will then have an introduction to inverse problems which is a slightly different problem which is certainly an application of computational electromagnetics which is given the measurements of electric fields can we infer something about the object that produce those fields. Right. So all told this field of computational electromagnetics is a rich mix of starting with physics, a lot of mathematics, electrical engineering, numerical analysis and finally programming. As we go through this course we will be studying each of these aspects and learn how to put them all together. There will be weekly assignments that will keep you on your toes and with that I welcome you to this course and look forward to having you on board. Thank you.